Hello, my name is Nils Pirma and today we're going to be going over on how to create carbon fiber materials using metallic paint. So, how would I go around and do this? This has been showed you a way on how to create anisotropic filtering for carbon fiber materials, but if you don't want to go through all the hassle on how to create something like that, then there's a simpler way. How do I approach carbon fiber? First of all, we're going to lose OBS. Definitely. But for you who, who has used metallic paints in the past, you probably know the trick. Probably doesn't. It was really, really simple. First of all, you're just going to basically put it in a sphere and we're going to go through and turn it into a metallic paint. Metallic paint. And we're going to bump up samples for the, for the metallic roughness. 32 just so we ensure that when we actually render out this image or any kind of image you were working on and you have metallic paint in it then the metallic paint will look clean no noise in it whatsoever you can even go further but i should say probably around 32 samples is the norm which you can max maximally use okay so the textures Okay, so you cannot usually just bump in a met, met, like a carbon fiber texture. How can we do it? Usually, people will think that you would put a metallic in in the metallic paint editor, in this type, for for example, you would put a uh, carbon fiber texture into the base color. No, you do not. You put it into metal color. I'm gonna show you in a second. Okay, let's take it out from the metal color and apply a map to it. I'm just going to use a curve fiber map. And mapping type, we're not going to go over this. You can do it with whichever way you like. I'm just going to just basically share how you can create this metallic paint carbon fiber thing in the first place. How you map it, what do you want to do with it. I'm not going to go into detail. It's all up to you. Otherwise, I would spend hours and hours and hours going over this. But, okay, in the middle texture, okay, carbon fiber showing up. But it looks kind of weird. Okay, let's perhaps tone down the color of the base, base color. Ah, okay, now we're trying to see it. Hmm, what about now? Looks like kind of okay. Seems kind of rough. And most of black paint is dominating it. Okay, let's go into yet again textures, metal color, and let's try to use the sliders of brightness and contrast. Boom, start to show up. Contrast, if we tone it down, then we won't see any kind of these black things, or we don't see predominantly don't see them. Oh, that looks nice, cool. So this is really easy on how you can create metallic textures. Now, if you go into the metal roughness and metal coverage in the properties, then you can select how dominant it really is. And metal roughness gives you around like an effect on how reflective the material itself is. Uh, inside of one really overlapping, I'm gonna put it into sphere mode. And tone it down a notch. But yeah, this is how easy it is to make a carbon fiber material. Okay, what if we want to actually add color to it? We can't do it from here. But we can go into the middle of color and blend with color. Okay, let's choose, for example, blue. Okay, that works. Uh, bright, bright blue, or greenish, green, yellow, red. This is how you create colored carbon fiber. This is how easy it is, this is how simply you can do it. Nothing more to it. Okay, but I wanna do something more. <sighs> Seems too shiny for me, perhaps I can tone it, tone it down. Well, in Kisho Day, for example, we had a half clear coat uh, roughness and refracting this. 
I believe it was actually in seven as well. I believe so. Uh, yeah, no, it's getting toned down a little bit. Yeah, seems about right. But I don't want it like that. Just slightly. Just tone it down much a little. Yeah, that seems fine. So this is how you really create carbon fiber materials using metallic paint. Gonna put it in two, and it's all down to the user preference on how he wants or she wants to do it. It's, it's really up to the end user. But this is how you can create carbon fiber, fairly easy, roughly around in five minutes, and then tweak it to the max, on whichever way you want, with the sliders. Clear coat roughness, clear coat refractive index. Whatever you want. It's all up to you. So this has been just a quick, simple, kind of easy tutorial, I'd say. On how you can create carbon fiber using metallic paint. And how you can create colorized metallic carbon fiber slash material. So that's basically it. And uh, I hope you to see you in the next one. Probably around in half a year. <laughs> like it has been with posting tutorials for me in the past but yeah this is just basically it um use it use it however the way you want it and perhaps show some images around on the carbon fiber use case scenario and with, me with metallic paints in the keyshot forum itself as well so uh until next time and have fun <laughs>